This is Kivani, a rapper who you might have recently seen go viral for being caught on security camera chasing down and unaliving her manager. But the story is much deeper because Kivani didn't just grab a blower and go crazy in the middle of the street for no reason. Judge, it's clear from the arrest form that Ms. Six is being attacked by two men plummeted to the ground, basically. Once the attack ended, police say Hicks took out a gun and started shooting at her manager. He later died at the hospital. You see, Kivani had just suffered a brutal assault by her manager and another man before she had to reach into a purse and go John Wick on all the bad guys. And now Kivani is claiming self-defense in Florida, a state where the stand your ground law is pretty goddamn strong. And under most circumstances, this could have been an open and shut case of self-defense. And maybe she wouldn't be facing prison time. She probably could have been justified, but the fact that he was retreating at the point that she started firing at him. You see, there are a few major problems with Kivani's self-defense claims, like the fact that she walked down those men after their attack had ended. And I happen to have studied firearm law as a former firearm instructor, and I can tell you that her defense is a little shaky. And if you're ever in this situation, I'm gonna show you what you shouldn't do. But like always, we here at the Church of Joe Stone do not judge. We're gonna go through the shocking video that ends with Kivani getting hit by a car, the breakdown of what she did wrong in this horrific footage that is probably gonna be played a trial if she has one and we'll let you decide if you think Kivani is a victim and this is all self-defense or if she is actually guilty of taking this situation too far when she put out a firearm to defend herself and the story gets a little crazy and there's a lot of questions left unanswered but we dive into it all so make sure you hit subscribe and trigger warning if this type of video and information is offensive to you now the inspired rapper that we're talking about Kivani is now facing second degree murder charges after an altercation with her manager turned violent and she hit him with a blower multiple times. See, Kivani's real name is Kivana Camilla Hicks and she's a Florida rapper who makes music under the name Kivani and was arrested on October 9th following a suspicious shoot in Wynwood, Florida. Now, there's still a lot of questions about exactly what led up to this incident that we have on video. We don't know exactly what they were arguing about, but there was video surveillance from outside a nearby building that showed the entire thing as it unfolded. Surveillance video obtained by NBC6 shows the moment a rapper allegedly shits and kicks her manager in front of the Windwood Walls back on October. Footage shows rapper known as Kivani, whose real name is Kavani Hicks. You see, the video shows a white Lexus pull up and park next to the curb on the 2400 block of Northwest 2nd Avenue. A few seconds later, Kivani gets out and begins arguing with the driver, who had just exited that same vehicle. Now, the argument continues to escalate into the point it gets physical, and they start shoving each other in the street. Now, every video that I have is edited, so you can't see who exactly starts it, but according to our reports, they're both fighting each other, but of course, with the man being a male, he is winning. At this point, a second man gets out of the Lexus and helps the driver restrain Kivani. And at one point, both men are on top of her while she struggles to get free, and they're winning in this altercation. And that's when Kivani can be seen getting slammed into the sidewalk. Now, eventually, they all get up, and Kivani begins walking in the opposite direction. But she'd only make it a few feet because as she's walking, she starts digging into her purse, and then she takes out a blower and begins firing at both men. Now, they start ducking for cover and running, trying to hide behind the by cars, but her manager ends up getting unalived as Kivani walks him down, firing the whole way. Now, this is where the story gets even more insane, because the other man would manage to get behind the wheel of the Lexus and then starts to drive away, slamming the vehicle into Kivani as he's pulling off from the curb. The vehicle then speeds away from the scene while Kivani gets up and runs into the opposite direction, leaving her manager in the street where he would eventually succumb to his wounds. Now, police arrived on the scene pretty quickly to find the man or the manager laying on the ground in critical condition. They found Kivani Kivani suffering from blunt force trauma and other serious injuries nearby and she told the officers that a verbal altercation with her and her boss turned physical so she had to use that weapon to save her life. Now they were both brought to the hospital when the manager would later succumb to his in injuries there and Kivani would later be charged and arrested with second degree murder after she confessed to the sh**. Now we're gonna get to exactly what she did wrong, what she did right and why this whole thing is even up for debate when a woman was apparently a but as of now, Kivani is claiming not guilty and has been appointed a public defender who said it's a clear case of self-defense. Now, exactly what were they arguing over that made this whole thing boil up to this degree where two men would attack this woman in the middle of the street? It wasn't a robbery going wrong. It looks like something else entirely. According to police, she did not reveal what the argument was about or what events led up to it, but she told them that she was in fear for her life because of the victim's size. She allegedly heard him yell, I'll blank you with one hit with the K word and began positioning 
positioning himself to tackle her when she began allegedly using her firearm. At least that's her side of events, but I can't tell that that's happening in the video. But see, this is the thing. There's a few major problems with the self-defense claim. The problem that we see in the video was that the attack clearly stops at one point, and Kivani makes it away. She starts walking away in the opposite direction, and at least according to the video, it looks like the men are not going to try to continue with this assault that they're going in the opposite direction or at least not continue to attack her. Then Kevani turns around after walking more than a few feet and then initiates a second confrontation where she now is the aggressor and these two men are running. And as they are running away, she has no reason to believe that they are armed. They are no longer a present danger to her life and they are clearly the ones who are out and in trouble now. And that's the major problem that Kevani is going to have in court is that you can't claim self-defense when the other person is running in the the other direction and the second your life is no longer in danger you're supposed to stop defending yourself now that's the law and if this hadn't been caught on video i'm pretty sure that they probably would have never even brought it to trial because it's those little details that make the difference and only her story would have probably been the one they listened to but now with the video showing her inciting a new situation it makes her look really really bad but this is the other side of that argument but see this is the thing i always try to tell people when you watch a video of a situation like this understand that you're watching seconds that go by even faster there is violence there is pain you've just been attacked it's late at night you may be intoxicated you may be confused this woman had just been slammed to the ground she may have actually thought the attack was continuing and not have realized that it stopped but at a certain point that's gonna be a hard thing to judge when you walk down the street continuing to fire and then you chase somebody around a car and then continue and continue she's gonna have to justify every second and every time she pulled the trigger as she walked down that street that's the problem they're gonna be like well why didn't you stop here when you saw him dive around the car why did you stop here after he got hit the first time why didn't you stop here because at the end of the day this has to go in front of a jury and i don't know if a jury is going to put this woman in jail after they watch her go through this brutal b it's just way different in court but also it just really depends on the level of her defense team and if it's a public defender and she doesn't have the money to fight who knows what could happen now according to my amy day judge mindy glazer kivani does have a solid defense claim especially because that victim was caught on camera assaulting her that's something that i said moments leading up to the however there is still probable cause for a second degree murder charge as well this is a case that if she had shot him when he was beating her she probably could have been justified but the fact that he was retreating at the point that she started firing at him, um, it becomes where she did, committed the offense that she's being charged with. So they are taking it to court. And again, if this had happened during the attack, this would be open and shut. But the fact that there was a pause, that there was a break, that there was no immediate reason for you to believe that your life was in danger, or it could be argued that you no longer had to believe that your life was in danger, is the problem. And yes, Florida has a stand your ground law, meaning that you do not have a duty to retreat. But it doesn't mean that you'd have the ability to attack. And once you start walking down the street pursuing people, now we're just on vigilante justice time and again you can't just john wick it out in the middle of downtown because of something that happened 5 10 20 seconds ago that's no longer happening now and i know that is splitting hairs but that's just the reality of how these situations work and because we have the video well that's how it's going to be judged second by second and kivani decided to double back as soon as she got her hand on her firearm but again according to kivani she was in fear of her for her life the entire time and felt like she had to sh defend herself but after all of this kivani did eventually get a bond and was released on house arrest. After posting bonds, she went and shared an update with her fans on Instagram. She revealed that she is suffering from broken ribs and bruises, so she is taking time to focus on healing and getting rest. She also said that she cannot comment on the case but feels confident that her supporters know she is not the horrible person that the prosecutors are making her out to be. Court records revealed that her next hearing is set for February, so fans and people who are following the case will just have to wait and see what happens in this situation. But let us know what you think in the comments. Do you think this entire situation was self-defense or do you think Kivani went too far and will be paying the price in prison. Let us know what you think. I am Joe Stone and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. When cool comes to pray, you come to stay. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way. When we find the most shocking and provocative stories in the culture and taking the church. I will.